Hey guys, in today's video I want to talk about the build that I leaked started with, Bone Shatter. I got the tree and the gems from the speedrunner Khan underscore, so full credit goes to him. Why Bone Shatter? Bone Shatter is a very low investment build that will carry you easily to Atlas completion and beyond. For example, I completed the Atlas with just a falling, so yeah, that's how efficient the build is. Beginnings. Pick a skill of your choice until you reach Act 3. In Act 3, after you kill General Gravicus, you will be able to buy Bone Shatter. This is my current skill tree that I have. Pretty generic, nothing special, no cluster jewels or anything else involved. The only thing that I would say that you do not skill, need to skill in the beginning is precise technique. I would only invest in precise technique after your accuracy rating is higher than your maximum life and i would take resolute technique instead to guarantee that 100 percent of your hits are really hitting the enemy but yeah this, this is not a special tree there's nothing special to this i went with the slayer ascendancy i took impact 50% increased global accuracy rating, fall to melee strike range, 5% increased area of effect per enemy killed recently, up to 50%. Deal up to 5% more melee damage to enemies based on proximity. Brutal fervor, 100% increased maximum recovery per life leech. Life leech effects are not removed when unreserved life is filled. 10% reduced damage taken while leeching. Then I took Bane of Legends, 10% more damage if you've killed recently, cannot take reflected physical damage, 20% more damage with hits and ailments against unique enemies. And the last thing that I took was Headsman, kill enemies that have 20% or lower life when hit by your skills, gain 10% increased attack speed for 20 seconds when you kill a rare or unique enemy, Gain 10% increased movement speed for 20 seconds when you kill an enemy. Okay, gem setup. I use the Ancestral Protector and the Ancestral War Chief in combination with MAME and multiple totems. The active skill is currently, of course, Bone Shatter with Ruthless, Close Combat, and Fortify. I use the Poacher's Mark, but only sometimes. It depends on which opponent I fight. I use an Ancestor Cry and Frost Blink. Ancestor Cry exerts the next 8 melee strike that you perform. Auras that I use are Determination, Precision, and I use a War Banner. I also use Berserk. Berserk lets you invest the Rage Point that you accumulated during, during your run. Leap Slam with faster attacks to jump around and sometimes stun enemies, blood rage to get more attack speed, life leech and gain frenzy charges, obviously. And I use molten shell and Valot's mark in combination with cast when damage taken support. Okay, let me talk a bit about the playstyle. Playstyle is pretty straightforward. Jump around and kill things. If you fight a tanky monster or a boss, you just spawn your ancestor friends, drop your banner, activate your berserk, and go ham. Okay, but enough theory talk, let me show you a tier 16 map. Okay, here I have a generic tier 16 graveyard rare map. Let's go.
Can't do this just yet. Alright, that was the map. As you can see, some fights took a little longer, but please keep in mind, this is just a falling. So, the damage will still go up. This is not a great weapon. Everything will go up. Yeah, that's basically why I recommend Bone Shatter as a League Starter. As you could see, I could do a tier 16 map with this setup. This is nothing. And it has good clear speed. It's decent against bosses. So yeah. That's that's basically all you need as a League Starter build. Okay, I hope you found this video about Bone Shatter informative. I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.